picture frame time. Um, my kids asked me to make a couple frames so they can make my wife a couple pictures on printer paper. So I'm going to make some eight and a half by eleven inch frames. Um, this is my homemade router table. Which I've got the router mounted up underneath. Um, works pretty good. Only problem is you have to be real careful. I'm setting it up. You want to make sure everything's square. I know my router's square with the table. I'm right at 12 and 11. 12 and 11. I'm going to throw my square up real quick. Square with the table, so I am uh, good to go at this point. Now, I need to put the notch in each piece for the glass in the backer. And I'm going to go ahead and route that, and I'll get back. There's one pass. As you can see, I probably need a new blade. It's getting pretty dull. But I'm going to make another pass real quick. That's deep. about as deep as I want it. About a good quarter inch. Good quarter inch on each one. That's going to be the inner track for the glass and the backer. And I uh, forgot to mention, feather board's always a good idea when you're routing. Especially with a dull blade like me. You don't want the material popping up and hitting you. Okay, I'm going to change bit. bit in. I'm going to set my fence up. And I'm going to round over a little bit at a time. I think I'm going to go pretty deep with this one. But, uh, okay, I decided it. to do something a little different. I just put a round on both ends, both sides of the planks, just to kind of give it that, you know, it's going to curve around at the wall instead of being flush with the wall. We'll see how it looks, you know. I like messing up. Every now and then you come up with a good idea. All right. Now I'm going to get my clamp, clamp them up, see what they look clamp down. Miters look good. Nice grain going on there. It's just going to get sanded and stained real good. So decided to put another curve on the inside. It's looking pretty nice. Anyhow, I made router table. Something to do with it. And I'm going to glue it up, and we'll go from there. Just thought I'd show you a couple frames. I've already finished with my homemade router table. Um, oddball sizes, but here's one I did for my wife. Put a nice crackle on it, make it look aged, like reclaimed wood. Here's another small frame I did for a little black border, dark cherry stain. Uh, real nice. A real big frame for my wife. All these were for Valentine's Day. Um, I stained the wood and came back with my orbital sander and kind of hit it a little bit, give it that aged look. Really nice. Put a nice green border on the inside. And she can do a collage or whatever she wants in here because, like I said, this is an oddball size. But uh, homemade railroad table works great. Cool little project. And uh, this cost me, all three of these frames cost six bucks, the price of the glass. Everything else, scrap materials and uh, use of my router table. That's it. Thanks for watching.